I don't know if it's neat or creepy or whatever. Shelter somebody built back in here. North side of Chicago. Check this thing out. Hey, this is Ed over at Team Aquascape, giving you another update here on our project over at the North Park Village. This is in the north side of Chicago. We just completed putting in our intake system. Let me show you exactly what we have. The cobblestones are being delivered. So this is like a four to eight inch cobblestone. This material is gonna go on top of the aqua blocks, which is gonna act as our pre-filter, and it's gonna disguise all of that so it looks a little bit more naturalistic. Stone Company, Lafarge materials bringing in the super sacks which are really easy to work with easy for transporting materials pay a little bit extra for it but worth it definitely definitely worth it so chuck and i are just wrapping up the intake over here so this is going to be the pre-filter for those submersible pumps the nice thing is uh, we have these big super sack bags but then we could set it way out over here which is nice and then we could just kind of distribute it where we need it the good thing about this cobblestone uh the goal is basically just to kind of cover up the aqua box but we still want lots of void space and this is why i don't use crushed stone so i want to use this rounded material and that's because it's going to leave lots of big openings and voids and stuff like that so the idea is to allow water to go through but we want leaf debris sticks and stuff like that to kind of get caught on this top layer but we do have lots of leaves we have lots of trees we have stuff around here so the more stuff you have the bigger this intake area should be as a pre-filter it depends on how often you want want to maintain it so actually we just met the maintenance man so this is going to extend his time he was coming out on a daily basis before cleaning out just those small 12 inch diameter intakes so now this is several hundred square feet so it's going to make a huge 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 difference for them so we've been getting ready to set these two 10 horsepower submersible pumps into our pump vault getting all the connections done cutting all the pvc pipe getting everything prepared over on this side getting our six inch to eight inch transition couplings ready that way we could go from the six inch discharge on the pumps to the eight inch piping over here rain is coming in as we speak i got to get these pumps in and it is not going to happen today we're back on site this morning i drove through a lot of puddles on the way here and there is a lot of mud and our water level in the pond is higher which i know is going to mean this vault <laughs> vault is definitely full of water we got to drain the pond first because as you can see over here we have water coming in going right into our intake which connects right over to here there are a lot of issues now that are popping up that need to be addressed here so yeah it's going to be an interesting day Success. Everything came together really, really nicely here. Uh, both the pumps went in pretty smoothly. We dropped them in and then just had to glue all this stuff up. I am really particular about some of the stuff. I like to take my time with it, make sure everything lines up properly. And if you take those precautions in the beginning, it makes life so much easier. Not fighting anything. Starts with the with a good base, having a good concrete base that's level, um, making sure that your riser pipes are actually plumb, making sure that these pipes coming in are level as well. And if you do all all of that putting everything together is actually pretty simple take your measurements make sure you account for your uh, for your couplings and things like that and then it's just a matter of cutting gluing and bolting things together The other thing that's kind of neat back here, kind of, I don't know if it's neat or creepy or whatever, it's like a little uh, shelter somebody built back in here. We noticed it the other day. And again, we're located north side of Chicago. So all big urbanized area. Check this thing out. Somebody took a little bit of time over here. Look at that. 
little shelter of some sort. So this is our wetland filter. We've been fixing up some of these edges, came in with some heavy duty fabric, fixed up uh, some rocks that have moved. We've reconfigured the main eight inch line coming in. We split it off into our snorkels and centipedes over on this side. We have new clean outs put in. So what we had to do was underneath, on top of the liner, I put in some stone finds. It leveled everything off for us really nice and evenly. So when we put in our aqua blocks, it'll be nice and level going across. Our next step right now is we have a bag of cobblestones over here. We're gonna come in here, we're gonna lock all this stuff up, make it nice and level. All right, we have success. We finally got all the aqua blocks in and surprisingly, they are very, very level. All the water is gonna come through this distribution pipe over here. It's gonna split this way and then split that way. And so what's gonna happen is all that water is gonna flow underneath those aqua blocks and then it's gonna come up. So our next step right now is to come in with the super sack of uh, river stone. We're gonna get around the outside perimeter to put these aqua blocks under compression. They are designed as a system and the idea is you wanna get them uh, under load. You don't want them to slip and you don't want them to move around because that's when they fail. So if we take our time, get that outside perimeter backfilled properly, it'll be good and solid. Then we can start going over the top with our other layers of the river stone to create the proper filtration for the large pond. Normally, I would go with a little bit bigger river stone uh, for that base layer. We're not gonna have the full depth that we're looking for here because we're only gonna fill up to right about here. Went with an inch and a half. It will not go through the aqua blocks, but it's gonna give us a little bit higher surface area than a two inch to three inch. And then we're gonna top it off with a layer of three quarter inch. The combination of those two will give us good surface area, good flow rates, and a lot of biological filtration. We're in the finishing stages here. We got our inch and a half down, now we're coming with a three quarter minus. This is gonna be a really good planting medium and it also has a higher surface area due to the amount of small pieces in here. So you look at that stuff, the smaller the pieces of gravel, the higher your overall surface area. And when it comes to biological filtration, that's kind of the key. So we have inch and a half here this is gonna spread the water out, allow sedimentation, allow good water flow. Then we get more polishing action here on the very top. So the key to a successful designed wetland filter is we have our aqua blocks on the bottom, big sedimentation area, and then we keep going with smaller and smaller, smaller grades of gravel, which is gonna give us better biological filtration as it goes up through the different gravel profiles. Our goal is to kind of get this filled up right up into here, and then we'll have a little bit of standing water in here, and then our waterfalls will dump out from there. I am back out at North Park Village. It has been many months since I was out here. We got kicked out of here in November. A lot of snow coming down, shut everything down. I was out here today. We had to do a little bit of foaming, had to fix up some of the stuff in the waterfalls. Uh, we're in the process of doing the caulking, the foaming. I got my foam guns, I got the caulk, I got everything that I need over here, but I'm out of caulk now. I texted Jenna a little while ago, so uh, I'm gonna get her on the phone, see what we can find out because I need this stuff tomorrow. Hopefully she's had some luck because if not, <laughs> I'm in trouble. Hi, Ed. Did you get my texts about seeing if you could find some? Have you had any luck? So, I think we're all taken care of. Um, I already prepaid for it. I'll be there tomorrow to pick up the guy. Awesome. Um, and then I was going to just drive it down to you. Okay. Thought, Thanks again. I appreciate it. Sounds good. Thanks, Ed. <sighs> Jenna's bailed me out again. <laughs> Not the first time. It's all hands on deck this time of the year. So stick around while we wrap this project up. We are
are getting ready to go pick up some product for Ed. I do the purchasing. I get involved when there's a specialty item needed. When Jenna and I both get together, generally there's <laughs> some sort of shenanigans involved. We got lucky and found a supplier not too far from us. Plot thickens because this guy has no warehouse, no address. He works out of his home and we're meeting him where, Jenna? In the back parking lot of the United States Postal Service in a black SUV. We just thought we would take you on this journey through and some of the challenges we have to face uh, like most of you do out in the field when you need something right away. This is also uh, video evidence in case something should go wrong. <laughs> I'd like to say bye mom. I love you very much. Yeah, kids. <laughs> Have a great weekend. You made it. Super nice guy. So a scary incident and turn out to be a, a good partner. We can get some more stuff from him in the future. There you go. Had to fix up some of the stuff in the waterfalls. I had to clean out the intake again because it's basically been sitting all winter long. It is up and running. And I tell you what, it looks phenomenal. Here is the new intake system here. You could actually see all this debris is getting sucked over into this corner. I just turned these pumps on 15 minutes ago. You could see the water flow coming in in that far corner over here. Really nice circulation coming in and it really looks great. And I'm gonna show you this waterfall because it looks incredible. You already got people coming out and checking it all out could hear it all the way from over here. Actually, we have a photographer that just showed up out of nowhere over here. <laughs> He's getting some cool pictures. About eight foot tall, two big giant waterfalls coming in. We're at about 120,000 gallons per hour, 2,000 gallons a minute for this system. And it looks great. Beautiful riverbed coming through. We cleaned out a lot of debris. I mean, just look at this flow. Awesome. You could hear that waterfall. All the way over here, you got this nice little cascade. Beautiful stonework down here on the bottom. You can see some of our tuck pointing work down there in the bottom as well. And then we got our big stone slab bridge over here. All right, let's walk right up the riverbed here. Check this out. It's just awesome. Love all that swirling action. Wow, sound is incredible. Views, beautiful. Beautiful stonework. One of my favorites. Really timeless. Geese are back. Actually, not only are they back, but they got some babies. <laughs> There's the happy geese. You could hear and see the waterfall way off there in the distance, a couple hundred feet away. There she is. This is only 120,000 gallons per hour. There is a third pump that has not been turned on yet. Just dumps in water right at the very bottom just to increase that flow down there. Kids are, uh, starting to show up as well. All right, everybody, that's a wrap. Um, I gotta clean some stuff up. I gotta get out of here. Check out North Park Village. If you like this type of project, please let us know. Please like, comment, subscribe, let me know your thoughts, and we'll see you on the next project.